Hi, I'm Bill Hostler, and today I'd like to discuss the book with you, Freemasons for Dummies by Chris Hodap. I'm sure many of you have heard about this book if you've been in the free and if you've been involved in Freemasonry for a while. But there are many young brethren out there who are still looking to find their way around the fraternity. And there are a lot of prospective men who have probably either heard about Freemasonry on television or read a Dan Brown book. And they're wanting to find out more about what we do. And everything they hear about is either confusing or maybe a little scary. And so today I'd kind of like to discuss this book and possibly shed some light on it and maybe give you a reason why you should pick this book up. This book was written, I believe, around 2005. And when I was a young Mason and just raised, it would have really helped me out a great deal. You see, when I was a young Mason, and I know for many of us who were raised around the same time, we were all searching for light. We would ask the brethren of our lodge, and they would try to help as best they could. But some of the questions we asked, it was just they really didn't know because that was just the way that lodges were ran back then. You know, they knew about ritual and they knew about floor work and maybe Grand Lodge law, but that's all they knew and that's what they thought that's all you should know. But many of us wanted more. And so we kind of went to the internet and we gleaned some things. We talked amongst each other and we semi got a good comprehensive idea of Freemasonry. But then Chris um, came out with this book, Freemasons for Dummies. And to be honest, it was a great thing. It, it was, you know, cause, because the books before his... There were some, I mean, and some of them are great titles and they can be a great read, but you got to remember for a person who just became a Freemason, they're very difficult to understand. Sometimes they're written in an archaic language, although English, of the 19th century or early 20th century, and a very flowery language, which, which was the um, style of the time and you might get lost in it and it may be kind of difficult to glean what they're trying to write. The luckiest that I found at the time was a book by uh, Brother Alan Roberts called Freemasonry and its Symbols and that helped a great deal. But when Chris came out with Freemasons for Dummies it was eye-opening. He broke down the Freemasonry into the craft, dependent bodies and everything else and he made it so pardon the pun even a dummy could understand and he caught a lot of flack for the name dummies but I mean anybody who's ever picked up a dummies book on any subject knows that that's the style and that's it's a great way to learn anything it's how I learned HTML it's how I learned things on a lot of topics as the Freemasonry was no different and it's become a very successful book in fact the last time I knew Freemasons for Dummies was the most popular dummies book ever published and it's been published in several different languages throughout the world. It's been that beneficial to Freemasons and prospective Masons. Well today, not long ago, the book was just put into the third edition and he's updated, Chris has updated some various things. It's been changed throughout the years. and. As with everything, as it's you know, progressed, because Freemasonry is a progressive science, as it progressed, it's gotten better with time, and the information's gotten better, and it's going to be even more up-to-date for brethren and young men of this era in the 21st century, in the 2020s. And if you are interested in becoming a Mason, I wholly believe that you should pick up this book. If you're a 50-year member, I believe you should pick up this book because you're never too old to learn something new. I Every time I read it, I learn something new. And if you're a young man who's just been raised as a blind degree of a Master Mason, I definitely encourage you to pick up the book. In fact, sometimes lodges will go up if you're the... And I tried to do this my year as Master of my Lodge, but it was voted down because of the name. People had a problem with the name Dummies. It is what it is. But sometimes, along with the volume of sacred law and another like Grand Lodge law and such things, a lodge will give 
Freemasons for Dummies to a new Master Mason as part of their welcome gift. And I truly believe if you haven't, if your lodge isn't doing this, it should, because that is a great roadmap to becoming a better Freemason. If you would, please check out the links in the bottom of this description. And you'll be able to um, pick up a link or pick up this book and either keep it for yourself or give it to a friend or give it to someone you know who is kind of interested in Freemasonry. That might help them actually give, put in a petition and knock on the door. I encourage you to, to pick it up. And then be perfectly honest, this is something that I think we all should do. We should all be patronizing our Masonic publishers because without our patronage and our purchasing of their books and our and taking care of Masonic authors, not only will light be shut off, but we will not have Masonic authors, and we will not have Masonic publishers much longer. Keep look, searching for more light as you're traveling to the east. Until I see you again, have a great day.